had an audience to tell this and show myself too because I I, I don't know I'm an Aries <laughs> so I'm self-obsessed I guess <laughs> anyways hi guys and welcome back to my channel my name is Johanna and today we're going to be talking about things that I wish I knew before I went to university but today is just a come down to sit chat with me let's talk about let's talk about some stuff that I know <laughs> let's talk about let me share my knowledge with you guys if you find this video helpful please tell me down below in the comments all my opinions are my own my experience is not gonna be your experience and your experience is not gonna be my experience so if I say something that doesn't really resonate with you that's fine just go ahead and watch the rest of the video I'm gonna split this video up into two categories first of all like social life and friends and school and university obviously they intertwine and they're not separate as I am making them out to be in this video so the first thing I wanted to talk about is academically focused obviously when you go into first year your grades are gonna drop this is not a whole oh my grades are gonna drop thing situation it's like your grades they are going to drop so from going from high school to university i had a probably about an 80 average in high school just because i didn't really try and it wasn't really that important to me because i wasn't wasn't studying what i wanted to study and because i was just like kind of fooling around in high school to be honest i got to university and my grades dropped drastically they dropped almost 20 percent it's definitely a wake-up call to get your first midterm back and get like a 50 or even fail like i know some of my roommates they failed their very first midterm in university just because they did not study and they didn't know how to study that being said it is really 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 okay to drop a class i know a lot of people are freaking out and they're like oh i can never drop a class so one time about two years ago I was in a, a philosophy class that I hated. I literally had one assignment and they were like, this in completed by next class. And I literally didn't have any idea of what I was supposed to be doing. I went home and I tried my best. I literally sat there and studied it for six hours one night. Then I went to this professor's office hours and we will get to office hours in a quick second. Like, this is what I came up with. And um, he was like, this is wrong. This is wrong. This is wrong. This is all wrong. And I was really like, uh... Okay, like what do I do to fix it and so he told me how to fix it and I did not understand one word that came out of that man's mouth I was really like okay like I didn't understand anything he said so I was in that class and he was like here's how you fix it and I didn't even understand how he told me to fix it so how was I supposed to understand how to get a good grade on this assignment if I didn't know how he, he was explaining to fix it and okay okay yeah that makes sense okay okay yeah yeah, that sounds good. Like during the whole meeting of me and him just being like, okay, okay. I left that meeting more confused than when I went in. I was just so confused. Anyways, I went into the elevator and I had my book and I said, huh, what do I do now? To be honest, I was crying, but that's besides the point. I literally had no idea why I was in that class. So I said, okay. And as soon as I left his office hours, I went back to my residence, walked myself back to my residence, and I sat on my computer and I, I dropped that class. I dropped it. I was like, this is way out of my league. And it it didn't affect me really at all. I picked up another class later the next semester because that was the most full year course. But I literally had just missed, I have one missing credit from that year. If you don't need um, an elective and you're failing this elective that you took just because you weren't sure if you were going to like it, drop it. Go into the little, the little site on the internet, drop the class. It's fine. It is what it is. Whatever. I know a lot of you are going to be like, that is a full on waste of my time. I'm not going to see my professor. I would go see him after class, blah, blah, blah. But it doesn't really work like that in university. So you kind of just have to make an appointment or sh at least show up like they these professors are very 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 busy people You really just got to make a point to go and see them Another thing that I learned really early on is that the friends that you make on within the first month are not the friends That you're gonna keep being you around you for the next four years unless we're really 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 specific circumstances and you're the lucky ones that make really really good friends right off the bat then you know life is gravy but for me at least i had a really hard situation a really hard transition 
from being with the friends and to be honest it was my roommate too because she was one of my really close friends at the beginning of the year to actually happen to move out of my dorm into another room by second semester so um it's just like I don't really have much to say on that I literally just have to be like don't put all your full faith in being friends with the people that you're going to make friends with in in September and October and November of thir first year you are the only one looking out for yourself within the first semester and even in, within second semester of first year I mean yourself and make sure that you are the number one priority and your grades are the number one priority for you at this school at this time I mean to be like I'm just gonna be my by myself and I'm the only person that looks out for me and I'm the only person that cares about me and I'm only gonna look out for myself like don't do that obviously people just do dumb things like you just got out of high school you are going through a whole life transition basically you're is this is like a new chapter of your life with new characters and new and new side characters like it's totally different than when the person you were in high school and I don't think a lot of people who go into university totally realize that until they get into university that they're not going to be the center of attention or they're not going to be with the people that they were last year even if you go to the same university like if you're not going to be the same people you are very much going to be a different person than I'm in June of graduating grade 12 and June of the end of the first year of university it's just it happens to everybody <laughs> you are just not going to be the same person a lot of things are going to happen to you I'm sorry this video was kind of short, um, I honestly I thought I was going to have more time to sit and make this video, but I do not because I have midterms coming up next week. So, if you like this video, please, please, please like and subscribe. Yeah, so moral of the story, please interact with me, tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like, because I am just a new YouTuber and I really, really, really like doing this, so it would be really, really helpful and I think it would be super, 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 super fun for me if I had an audience to tell this and show myself too because I, I, I don't know, I'm an Aries. <laughs> so I'm self-obsessed, I guess. <laughs>